Oh. Oh. oh! It's just as well I can't see you, though. <laughs> So I have an accent. Maybe you didn't realize. I'm Irish. Yeah. So people just come up to me and say, top of the morning to you. It's like, rarely is it morning. And I've never said it in my life. It's an American thing. People also greet me and say, Pink hearts, blue moons, and green clovers. Is what the hell do you say to that? Like snap, crackle, and pop back at you? I've actually had dinner guests bring me a box of Lucky Charms. It's like, thanks very much, I was expecting a salad. So people do think my accent is charming. They'll say to me, I don't care what you say, just keep talking. <laughs> I just totally said that. All right. <laughs> Thank you, up your arse. I'm not charming enough for you. <laughs> so, Americans do appreciate the, appreciate the Irish, and that's, that's really nice. However, I, I think I've met the only man in America, a boyfriend, who doesn't think my accent is charming. He doesn't understand the bloody word I say. I love him though, he's a, he's a great fella. But he, you know, our, our relationship thrives on our inability to communicate. So, if we can't communicate, we can't argue, so it's great. We both blame my accent. <laughs> so, for example, we'll be on a road trip and I'm there chatting away, no response. And it's like, who the hell do you think I'm talking to? Like, do you think I'm over here making up limericks? There once was an arsehole from Denver. <laughs> You know, I, I don't understand myself half the time. <laughs> Especially when I get angry. I, I found myself in work the other day getting upset. And I said, guys, this is like taking a sledgehammer to a kitten. It's like, they don't even say that in Ireland. They make up this shit. It's, I mean, I know it's terrible. It's charming. <laughs> I tend to use my accent and my heritage to my advantage now and again. It's like, oh, officer, top of the morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, didn't know that was a one way street. Do you go the other way in the own country? <laughs> Leprechauns made me do <laughs> Not to mention, I wasn't drinking around. <laughs> Happy St. Paddy's Day now, officer. <laughs> so I also used uh, my Irishness to adva my advantage when people started to tell me I had, had a problem with the drink. They said, of course I said I have a problem, I'm Irish. <laughs> so they were attacking my identity, not just my behavior. It's like, when did be being Irish become being a drunk? When did that happen? My family didn't get it either. I, I called my brother and I said, I told him I was an alcoholic, and he said, Come home out of that, that's an American thing. <laughs> I've heard of an Irish alcoholic. <laughs> My other brother, he said, Thanks, Mr. Christ, it's only the drink. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me you were fond of girls. <laughs> Much better to be suicidal, crumpled heap. <laughs> <laughs> so my family, I, I, I get on great with them. I talk to them regularly. However, they, they don't get me either. So I, um, 
you know, I've been here for 15 years and they ask me the same bloody questions every day. The phone will ring at four o'clock in the morning. It's my brother. What time is it there now? <laughs> it's time for you to shag off and do a bit of math. <laughs> Joe Murphy's sister moved to the States. Any sign of her? <laughs> yes, I drove by Michigan the other day and I, she says hello. <laughs> you know, I think they think I'm going to forget them or something. You know, I, every time I go home, they send me packing back to the States with all this memorabilia, Irish memorabilia. It's like the pictures of the sea, and there's tea bags, there's stolen road signs. <laughs> you know, and it, it's actually very hard to get away from them these days, virtually at least. <coughs> Every time you turn around, they're Skyping and texting and pinging you. It's like, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, will you leave me alone? There's a reason I'm 5,000 miles away from this. <laughs> So I go home pretty regularly, and when I go home, I, I always bring a, bring a black frock. I like to hit a few funerals. <laughs> they're, a, they're a great time saver because half the country are there. <laughs> and there's always someone kicking the bucket. <laughs> so I find it very weird, actually, when you go to American funerals. It's like, where's the corpse? It's like there's a PowerPoint presentation for 45 minutes. And then it's <laughs> So at home, the corpse is on show for several days. Sometimes it's hard to find them. You go into this little house and there's, it's jam-packed with people and you open this door and there's music and then the other door and they're singing and they're crying and they're laughing. So eventually you come across them. You know, the, the conversation is entertaining over the body. It's like, Jesus, Mary, he just looks like he's sleeping. <laughs> but then after looking at this fella for two days, it degenerates into something like, God, Mary, you're right, you have his nose. <laughs> <laughs> so I spend a lot of time working on myself. It's exhausting. <laughs> So, I want to grow and come out of my shell. <laughs> so recently, I decided to go down to 16th Street Mall with a sign and offer free hugs. <laughs> Me handle rejection. <laughs> <laughs> so there I was, I said to myself, three hugs and then I can go home. That was my goal. And it was the weekend of the stock or the week of the stock show. So you had a repressed Irish alcoholic and you had a bunch of cowboys. None of us good hoggers. <laughs> so it was kind of pathetic. Needless to say, people were crossing the street rather than hugging. I would too. <laughs> so I got pretty bad. Because I, I swore I wouldn't take any pity hugs, or at least I wouldn't count them. But people were starting to feel sorry for me. So, I mean, even, even the homeless wouldn't hug me. I'm not that I was that fond of hugging them either. <laughs> so eventually I thought of it. I mean, I couldn't reduce the price, right? <laughs> so, maybe I could pay them. So eventually I thought I'd, I'd change up the sign. I said, hug me, I'm lucky. <laughs> and then the hugs came flooding in. So, thanks very much.